Welcome back, survivors, to The Walking Dead, No Man's Land. Today, we are going to talk about defending your outpost, which is going to be critical in later levels when you get to the point where defending your outpost has anything to do with uh, how much supplies you get. All right, where did I put it? All right, first thing we want to talk about is the first level of defense for your outpost, and that is the walker pit. I'll pull it up. So right now I have six normals, one armored, and no tanks. So the problem with using normal walkers in the defense of your outpost is that they're just cannon fodder. Sure, if you have a ton of them, maybe you can do some good damage to the attacker. Most likely, if you're putting normal walkers in there, all you're doing is giving your opponent the opportunity to charge up their attacks. Now, if you're like me, and when you're attacking an outpost, your strategy is to stun your opponent. Well, one or two assaults is going to keep your guys down while they cut, you, cut your defenders up, and that's no good. So what you want to do, you want armored and you want tanks defending the outer walls of your outpost. They're harder to take down. If they end up charging your opponent, whoop to do. They still have to bring down these armored guys and these tanks. And if you have plenty of those, that's going to be pretty hard to punch through. So when setting up your outer defenses, don't bother with normals. Put in armored and tanks and as high level as you can and as many of them as you can afford. Now, how do you afford to get more of them? Well, let's capture one more tank, and it cost me 5,000 supplies. And to upgrade it to the next level, I'm at level 1, is 250. And obviously, you know, this will increase as you capture more. I mean, sorry, as you level up more, the cost to upgrade them will increase. So that's something to be thinking about as you are building up your outpost defenses. Now... You're happy with your outer defenses, you're happy with the walkers, or maybe you just don't care and you're ready to get some good defenders out there. Where did I put? Here we go. Here's my outpost. I'll pull it up for us real quick. And we'll talk about how to deal with it. So you have two you have three options down here at the bottom. Manage outpost, change location, and change defenders. Let's take a look at defenders real quick. That's the easiest thing. Here you choose who you have defending at various points. Now, pay attention to defender A, B, and C. If you are using particular characters and a particular strategy, you're going to want to remember who's in which slot, A, B, or C. Now, I'm using Morgan because when Morgan gets hit, he gets a charge. Well, he has, half a, he has a 48% chance of getting an extra charge point. That gives him the ability to stun his opponent. I have Eugene for the same reason. Plus, Eugene has the ability to, uh, has a chance of not getting stunned. And I have Ivan in there just so I can have someone that can do some melee damage. So we're going to keep them in here for now. Oop, I did not mean to do that. Go back. Jesus, you are not an outpost defender. At least not today. Okay. Fix that back. Okay, so the second thing you're going to look at is your location. Yes, okay. You can go to the lake, the warehouse, the town, the quarry top, or the rural field. I'm going to go with the quarry top. I like the way it's set up. So you select the location that you want. Then you set up the layout of your base. Now this one has... Four, well, it has three sections, each with four layouts. So, I'm going to hit the bottom button here. I'm going to swap out the starting position. Now, those three boxes in the lower left-hand corner are where your opponent starts out. So, I don't want them to have a good, clean run at the flag. So, let me see. Yeah, we're going to put that one there. Let's see. One more round. 
Yeah, I think that's good. Make them move more often, you know? Let's see. What can we do with number two? There we go. I'm choosing this layout for the first two because I'm making the opponent move more. Now, granted, your opponent, or even you if you're on the offense, have plenty of time to get through, get to the supplies, and kill the defenders. But if you have a strong outer defense of tanks and armored, then getting through to that flag and opening that gate could be a little bit problematic with tanks and armored coming down on top of your survivors. Now, let's see, the final position. This is how, as you see, there are two gates here that they have to go through. How do I want to set this up? I think this is good. So, Morgan, if we remember, was in position A. So, A. I'll place all defenders. All right, you see right here in section one, you have I have my armored walker. You tap on that section to move your armored walker wherever you want him to go. I'm going to move him right here, just far enough away where they may not realize he's in that corner. I'm not going to do a whole lot of good being level one, but that's where we're going to put him. Now, section three. I want my scout to be able to be in a position where he can do damage, probably at the last moment. Basically, I'm going to use my defenders in a sort of an ambush stance, using the bruisers on the flanks and my damage scout in the center. And we'll just have to see how that works out. Now, the last thing, uh, each individual has... A stance that they can take. Offense, defense, or stationary. Stationary means they're going to hold their ground. Defense means that they will attack when the opportunity arises, but they will otherwise hang back. Offense, they're going to go straight at the enemy. I'm going to leave everybody on offense. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you set up your outpost defenses in this game. So... Take your time, look through the different locations, look through the different slides and setups, and choose something that's going to work for you. I prefer to use melee characters on defense. I just think it's, I just think it does they do a better job. You may decide you want to use ranged characters. Dwight would be a good leader for uh, defending an outpost because he automatically gets a damage boost for attackers and he would give that damage boost to anyone else so that ladies and gentlemen there you have it this is outpost defense it's, uh if you enjoy this video please uh like subscribe and share this channel and this is irish game master over and out